first of all thanks for being here in my youtube channel and today in this lesson number five on the topic code and inequality we are going to see one of the most important concept that is complementary pair concept so friends don't forget to watch all my previous lesson because previous lesson that is in lesson number one we have learned introduction lesson number two direct statement then lesson number three connecting a statement then lesson number four framing a new statement so only if you watch all my previous lesson you can able to understand this complementary pair concept so before solving a question that is based on a complementary pair first of all let me understand what is the basics of complementary pair so friends the complementary pair is only based on the conclusion you need to say whether it is a complementary pair or not so let me move on to point number one and the conclusion should look like greater than and equal to one conclusion should be greater than and the next conclusion should be equal to or otherwise it can be less than or equal to for an example i have just wrote two conclusion so conclusion number one and conclusion number two they will be statement by seeing a statement you should not say whether it's a complementary pair or not by only seeing the conclusion you need to say whether it comes under a complementary pair or not listen here and both the letters should be same that is important a b and a b if here it is a b and here it is c b then it is not a complementary pair right so conclusion number one a b and conclusion number two a b right both the letters should be same and it should falls under this two category one should be greater than and one should be equal to right or it, it can be like this equal to or greater than whatever be but the conclusion should falls under the point number one category so greater than and equal to so now i am saying both the conclusion is a complementary pair but we need to check whether it satisfies the condition if it does not satisfy the condition you should not say the answer is either or if it satisfies the condition then only you need to say the answer is either or listen carefully by seeing a conclusion we found that it's a complementary pair point number two we need to combine both the conclusions right so combine both the conclusion a greater than b and a equal to b so while you combine both the conclusion it becomes a greater than or equal to b so friends got it by using both the conclusion we have framed a new conclusion that is a greater than or equal to b now check the new conclusion in the statement if it satisfies if this conclusion a greater than or equal to b satisfies the statement then we need to say the answer is either or right if it does not satisfy the statement then the condition is you need to check conclusion number one separately you need to check conclusion number two separately friends got it first of all by seeing the conclusion check whether it's a complementary pair or not it is a complementary pair so one is greater than and second is equal to if it is a complementary pair you need to combine both so while combining greater than and equal to it becomes greater than or equal to now what you need to do is you need to check this conclusion whether it is true or false if it is true then you need to say the answer is either or if it is false then you need to check conclusion number one separately conclusion number two separately and you need to say the answer question number one and here they have given a statement that is k greater than or equal to r and r greater than or equal to a and less than n equal to t friends listen carefully n and t both are equal so this can be written as nt and less than i and greater than v so they have given a statement like this so after given a statement and they have given a conclusion conclusion number one that is k greater than a and conclusion number two k equal to a so friends first of all by seeing a conclusion i can say it's definitely it's a complementary pair why because one symbol is greater than and the second symbol is equal to similarly the condition says if one symbol is greater than and the second symbol is equal to then we need to say it's a complementary pair but by seeing both the conclusion you should not directly go for the option either or that is exactly wrong what most of the students are doing is by seeing both the conclusion okay it's a complementary pair and they are going with option number three that is either one or three follows that is wrong even though it's a complementary pair you need to check whether it satisfies the condition or not that is important so friends let me move on to con conclusion number one separately k greater than a you need to compare k and a so while comparing k and a we have two symbol so greater than is also common equal to is also common so while comparing k and a we got an answer k greater than or equal to a but the conclusion says only k greater than a while comparing we got greater than or equal to but the conclusion says only greater than so we need to say conclusion one is false conclusion number two k equal to a but while comparing k and a we got greater than or equal to but this conclusion number two says only equal to so conclusion number two is also false 
so conclusion number one separately we have checked in the statement it is false similarly conclusion number two is also false and we found that both the conclusion is a complementary pair so if it falls under category number one then the next step is combine both the conclusion so while combining conclusion number one and conclusion number two it becomes k greater than a conclusion number one and the second is k equal to a now it becomes k greater than or equal to a so friends while combining both the conclusion it becomes k greater than or equal to a the new conclusion is k greater than or equal to a step number three check the new conclusion in the statement whether it is true or not so conclusion says k greater than or equal to a while comparing in the statement similarly k and a the symbol is greater than or equal to so it satisfies the conclusion because conclusion is k greater than or equal to a similarly while comparing k and a we got an answer k greater than or equal to a so it is true now we need to say the answer is either one or two follows friends got it so the final answer is either one or two follows so answer for question number one it is either one conclusion number one or conclusion number two follows the meaning of either or is so either one or two that is greater than or equal to follows so friends most important concept and uh, listen carefully by seeing a complementary pair kindly don't directly go with option number three once you need to check whether it satisfies the rule or not if it does not satisfy the rule then the answer is not an either or if it satisfies the rule like this then we need to say the answer is either one or two follows so let me move on to another example question so that you will be strong on this concept question number two so here they have given a statement that is s greater than or equal to t t greater than or equal to m m and l both are equal so this can be written as ml and greater than or equal to d and greater than q so let me move on to conclusion number one and conclusion number two so friends by seeing this conclusion we can definitely say it's a complementary pair listen carefully the second conclusion is s greater than d and the first conclusion is s equal to d friends d equal to s s equal to d both are same so this can be written as s equal to d so finally s equal to d s greater than d so it falls under this that is greater than and equal to so one symbol is greater than and the second symbol is equal to and both the letters should be same so finally we can say both the conclusion is a complementary pair but we need to check whether it satisfies the rule or not let me move on to conclusion number one separately right so s equal to d so while comparing s and d between s and d we have three symbol greater than or equal to greater than or equal to and greater than or equal to so the common is greater than is also common equal to is also common so while comparing s and d we got an answer that is s greater than or equal to d but the conclusion one says only s equal to d so conclusion number one is false so conclusion number two so conclusion number two is s greater than d but here s greater than or equal to d again conclusion number two is also false so friends now both the conclusion is false it's a complementary pair if it is a complementary pair then we need to combine both so while combining both the conclusion that is it becomes s greater than or equal to d so we have framed a new conclusion that is s greater than or equal to d so after framing a new conclusion you need to ch check this new conclusion in the statement whether it is true or not so friends after combining both the conclusion it becomes s greater than or equal to d so while comparing okay, s greater than or equal to d so friends while seeing this in the statement while comparing s and d we got greater than or equal to similarly the new conclusion is s greater than or equal to d so finally it becomes true so now you need to say the answer is either conclusion number one or conclusion number two follows so the answer for this question is that is option number three either or so either one or two follows friends got it one of the most important concept so if you understand this logic then solving all the question is so simple so definitely it should falls under one category greater than and equal to and some students ask me that whether if it is one is less than I assume that right one is greater than and this conclusion is less than whether it is a complementary pair or not no it is not a complementary pair one can be less than and one can be equal to but if one conclusion is greater than and the second conclusion is less than then it is not a complementary pair right so friends let me move on to the third last question and where even though it's a complementary pair it does not follow the complementary rule let me move on to the last question so d greater than f greater than l less than or equal to n greater than o greater than s greater than or equal to v and v equal to x so v and x both are equal so this can be written as vx 
okay so now let me move on to conclusion number one and conclusion number two so friends by seeing both the conclusion one is greater than and the second conclusion is equal to and both the letters are also same both the letters are same and it falls under one category that is greater than and the second symbol is equal to so by seeing both the conclusion i can say it's a complementary pair but you should not directly say the answer is either or if once it satisfies the rule then you can go with option number three that is either or or otherwise you need to check once and you need to say the answer listen carefully the first conclusion is o greater than x so we need to compare o and x so while comparing o and x so in between o and x we have two symbol and out of both the symbol only greater than is common friends got it so here greater than greater than so greater than is common and here equal to but here there is no equal to so while comparing o and x the common symbol is greater than and similarly the conclusion says o greater than x so we can say that conclusion number one is true so conclusion number two so while comparing o and x we got an answer greater than but here the conclusion says o equal to x so conclusion number two is false so friends finally while seeing conclusion number one alone is true and conclusion two alone is false and now you need to combine both the conclusions so while combining both the conclusion so greater than and equal to now it becomes o greater than or equal to x so friends finally you need to check whether this new conclusion o greater than or equal to x is true or false listen carefully while comparing o and x we got only greater than but after combining both the conclusion now the new conclusion is o greater than or equal to x but here the originally while comparing only we got greater than but here it is greater than or equal to so this is false so friends listen carefully in previous question number one and question number two after combining both the conclusion we got the answer is true but in this case after combining both the conclusion it is false so you should not say the answer is either or even though both the conclusion is a complementary pair but you should not say it's a complementary pair that is either or why because it does not satisfy the rule now you need to say only conclusion one is true so the answer is option number one conclusion one alone follows or only conclusion one is true so friends got it just see the difference between question number one and question number two and question number three which is most important so friends in question number one and question number two after combining both the conclusion we have checked whether it is true or false so while we check in the statement it becomes true so we have said the answer is either or but in this question number three after combining both the statement and we have checked with the statement it is false so once if it is false then the answer is not an either or you need to separately check conclusion number one and conclusion number two so here conclusion number one alone is true so we we need to go with option number one that is conclusion one alone is true so friends got it one of the most important concept in a topic coded inequality so practice more number of question then definitely you will get an idea how to solve this complementary pair